like a bow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex, your toxic dating coach. And today we're going to talk about three toxic traits, toxic feminine traits that men find irresistible. I do not recommend you guys become these types of women, but I do recommend that you sort of apply some of these principles. Um, it's like me giving you a gun, okay? Don't go out and shoot people. Go ahead and shoot an animal to get some food, right? It's almost like that. I'm presenting to you a weapon that is dangerous in the wrong hands, but is useful in the right hands. And I'm hoping that <laughs> I don't have too many psycho followers out there, you know? Um, so let's see what this is. And by the way, we're having a seminar on September, I mean, in December, um, what day is it? It's going to be December 4th. Um, it's going to be a seminar on social intelligence. Purchase your tickets on the description down below where it says purchase tickets. It's going to be about social intelligence. It's going to be really good. That's going to be the first part of that seminar. Um, then the next month, I'm going to have the second part of that because it's going to be a course. Um, and by the way, our course, um, Nice Girl, is available to purchase right now. Only available to purchase this, uh, this month. Click on the description down below to purchase it or I'm closing this channel. So the first one is this narcissism the narcissistic woman the women who spark this projection because at the end of the day it is a projection okay and narcissistic people are pretty much universally one of the one of the stickiest types of individuals but also one of the ones that suffer the most they, they're not happy with the attention they get because it's never enough it's 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 a real it's, it's really a, nothing to envy to be quite honest with you the women who spark this projection are cold and not that interested in the guy. And this happened to me, right? This, this really happened to me. Um, because they have a blank slate, um, a, blank, a blank screen to project things on. They never really tell you how much they like you, but also they don't tell you how much they don't like you. So it's almost like a blank slate, even her face, right? Um, they, they don't really need the guy. They're self-obsessed. They're self um, and she's hard to submit. Um, she is, she, um, and, and this type of woman usually appears as a, as a free spirit, creative, and most importantly, assertive. This makes men want to loosen up around her and be, and be more relaxed, and it'll make them want, to, want, want, to, want her to submit to them, right? And the problem is that these types of men never got, never got the attention that they needed from their mothers. The, and by the way, you can learn a lot about this in Robert Greene's book, The Laws of Human Nature. Um, is, there's a similar topic on in, in chapter the chapter about the masculine and the feminine like the mother wanted a child to to give her what her man didn't give her right and so unfortunately this gives a man an emptiness that's hard to feel and they can't verbalize it but they'll chase after it their whole lives right so if you're able to look like the or act like the narcissistic woman it'll spark the projection and it's not hard to do that to be quite honest with you just google shit the narcissistic women do i'm not recommending this i'm just letting you know the toxic traits that men are attracted to um it's it's i don't know why we're attracted to that but you know the third second one so that's one narcissism men are attracted to narcissism um the damsel in distress you see i talk a lot about weakness a lot of times we assume that if we show strength, it'll actually make people like us more or it'll make, yeah. But we don't notice that the people we like the most are the weakest ones, children. There is a sympathy behind it. There is a certain um, um, empathy we have. And, 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 you know, there's a sympathy that we have towards children. Why? Because they're vulnerable. They're weak. And so we loosen up around them. The woman, this type of woman, the damsel in distress, is a woman who shows weakness. The woman who is less constrained, she's more wild and has a bunch of energy. This woman might be from a completely different culture and maybe even broke, no money, right? And appears weak and, and in need of help. He, this guy who reacts to her will feel like he can help her out and be the hero, right? Um, the man who falls for this... Men like this, unfortunately, had strict mothers, right? And are consciously attracted to make, um, to perfect looking women and are consciously want a rebellious woman, right? They want a mother figure as a wife. 
but not that but 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 they also want the slutty girl as well right they feel like this woman is weak and are lured by the pleasures that this wonderful woman seems to offer but this type of woman is very manipulative and their anima is masculine and masochistic right these men develop so so what tends to happen with these types of women is that they'll present themselves as as having a shitty life and they'll even show you with their face with their um with the way they act they'll play up on the on the negative things that happen in her life and the reason why that type of woman would do that is to elicit the empathy of the guy um and it'll emotionally engage the guy but that is toxic you know that that's pretty much manipulation but it works it fucking works like if you play up on your weaknesses you'll notice that men want to help you more and that's why the woman who is super successful struggle with with finding a guy that that actually love her right those types of women struggle with finding a guy that actually care not cares for her but but acts masculine around her because she shows too much strength. You show too much strength for your own good. So you could use this in a healthy way by just showing weakness sometimes. Exposing the things that hurt you. Exposing that maybe you have depression. Exposing that, that you have mental health issues sometimes, you know? Just being honest about your life. Because what that does is that it, 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 it makes you look like you're not threatening. And on top of that, they'll feel bad about your life and they'll want to help you. And you know, they'll naturally in, emotionally invest in you because they're trying to help you. They'll think about how to help you, how to help you out. And this is why I started seeing escorts in Mexico. Because I, 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 I was tired of meeting these girls with shitty lives, bro. Like, these girls had such shitty lives that I wanted to rescue all of them. And I'm like, fuck this shit. I don't want to hear about that shit no more, man. I'm, I want, I want to, I don't want to go with a shitty life. So I just started seeing escorts because I'm like, don't tell me about the fucking fact that your, your uncle might be touching you and shit. I don't want to hear about that shit. But then though, the escorts start telling you about her life, and because they start getting comfortable, and then I'm like, bitch, <laughs> never mind. Anyways, sorry. Um, so yeah, <laughs> he got issues. He, he definitely got fucking issues. Well, okay, I do have issues. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys ever want to learn how to use your feminine energy to influence people, learn how to use your masculine energy to become more assertive, and also learn how to blend both energies to improve your dating life, your spiritual life, honestly, um, your relationship life, your family life, your career life, this is the course for you. If I had to make a course for my nieces, I have two nieces, one is 8, 19, and one is 14, 15, 16, holy shit. Oh my God, he's a bad fucking uncle, he's a, he's a bad uncle, get him. Shut up, Melissa, you should, you should get this course, right? And this is the course that I will make for them. So, for example, watch the curriculum, right? In the first week, we're going to be showing you how to establish a strong masculine foundation without letting it hurt your feminine energy. This masculine foundation is a source of who you are, right? It's it's your bodyguard. Without this, your whatever feminine energy you create will be destroyed by the outside because your, your, fem, your masculine is your shield. So we'll talk about goal setting. We'll talk about how to develop a serious attitude. We're going to be talking about how to, um, how to use more logic, how to use more goal-oriented behavior. It's more how to be a man. <laughs> you know, it, you know? Now, the next one is how to embrace the feminine energy, right? This one, would, this one will teach you about how to minimize excessive masculine traits, developing self-awareness, healing abundant feminine energy, regulating your emotion, vo uh, mastering voice qualities and, ex and facial expressions, surrendering control and allowing pain to be felt. This is honestly, it's, it's, it, it, this will supercharge, like, like, like Kyle Ken, your masculine energy. After that, we have um, femininity in the workplace and how to be feminine in the workplace without letting people take advantage of you and the nuances of um, how women on power should behave versus women who are subordinates in the workplace and even the dress code. They, they, these are, this is based on psychology, people. It's kind of insane. I'm actually excited about this one. The next week, we talk about navigating the labyrinth of male and female friendship. And this, a lot of women find confusing, so we talk about that. And how to identify envious friends, how to identify the good friends, how to keep male friends, and how to keep female friends. Week five, we talk about how to release the burden of the past and stop and destroy mental projections. This is actually really powerful. Um, and this, and then week six, we talk about how to increase your observational power so that you so that you can read people better. 
Um, and we have a bunch of bonuses. It, the course starts at um, nine at ninety nine dollars, um, and you guys can pre order the course today at sixty nine dollars before it goes out. Um, if you're watching this, most likely I'm in the meditation retreat, so I really most likely I will be praying for all of you guys. And um, just click on the description down below of the video right there. You'll see it, and you can pre order that course. It's gonna be out by by the end of next month or the beginning of February of, of March. One of the two people, because I have a 10 day retreat to do. And I want to I want to finish the course um, after the retreat, because I think that the ideas are going to be so much better. All right, man, I'll see you guys later. Free order, man. Oh, I'm closing the channel.